Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Geometries in ComSol Multiphysics and today we will be talking about how to create your desired curved lines in ComSol Multiphysics. So this is an important topic because many times you need to create a particular curve and you don't get desired options to make your curve. So today I'll be talking about how to do that. So for that, let me go to 2D geometry. Now, suppose I want to create a sinusoidal curve. So initially let me define a function a sinusoidal function I have already talked about analytical functions and suppose I want to define sin 2 into pi say 3.14 into say x into say frequency I take as for the time being let me take it 5 divided by length you have to divide suppose uh, the range I took up to say 10 so the range here is 10 I create plot so you see this is the particular sinusoidal curve defined by the function a n 1 now I have already told you if you create this curve then you have to create click on create plot then you can have access to the data file if you go here right click on it you will be getting an option add data to export so from add data to export you can actually export the file so let me save it say data sign function sign f so I store it somewhere in my computer after you do it you have to click on export otherwise the file will not be created so whatever function I have generated now I have the data file for the same and I have saved the data file in my computer now I need to do something so that I can have a geometry like this so for that I go to geometry right click on geometry you will be getting an option interpolation curve so you have to select this now you will get an option of table x and y you can manually enter the data you can copy paste the data or you can select the option file and browse the file suppose yeah this is a sinusoidal function and then build selected so thereby you can actually create this particular geometry now the point is any mathematical functions you have you generate the numerical data and have an access to the data file so you can create any kind of curve so let me show you another curve say I go to function another analytic function let me let, let me create a Bessel function. This is Bessel 0th order Bessel, Bessel function and I plot up to say 10. So how the Bessel, Bessel function looks? This is how it looks. So let me increase it little bit the range. Say I make it 40. Yeah, this is how the Bessel function looks. It gradually decreases. Now I want to create something like this this geometry so for that again what I do is I go to the analytic function I create plot so once I create plot then I go to the function right click here add data to export browse the file say Bessel I write the name as Bessel I save the data then export the data now what you need to do you initially let me delete this sinusoidal one so here this is deleted again right click and I am choosing interpolation function now in the option table I change it to file browse the file 
get an access to the vessel file then I create build selected so you can see this sinusoidal function is created if I just zoom it you can see the function see this is how the vessel curve is created so it's not about sine function or vessel curve you can actually generate any kind of curve and I hope this particular video will be helpful if you are working with this kind of geometries if this is so do comment and subscribe to my channel thank you